Hello, this is David and welcome to what's almost our last video in this series. So now we're going to bind off. So we need to get some yarn. Now they say three times the length of the work. So I'm going to get nearly four times. So just pop it off with the scissors. And I'm going to thread my latch tool. I do. Um, I'm going to thread my darning needle. I do it with the latch tool. Heavens above! Not that much through. That's it. Just drop it. It doesn't matter. It's only a take. So what we're going to do is first we want to just pull that stitch a little bit tight. So we're going to go from the back, we're going to go into number two, and we're going to come out of that last one there, pulling it, just pull it a bit tight, then bring the yarn through, and pull the yarn tight. And then we go into the third one from this side, and we come out of the second one. Try and keep your stitches in the hooks needles in working position so we've been in that one so now we come into that one and out through that one and don't split the thread you know the yarn on the stitches don't split it and this is all we're going to do all the way across had to pull the curtain across before we did this because the sun was shining so bright and i'm thinking that's our November sunshine and having to shut it out. So, uh, so it's um, today the USA goes to the polls. Will it be Mr. Trump or will it be Mr. Biden? That's for the people of America to decide, isn't it? On Thursday, England goes into national lockdown. Wales is already in national lockdown. Here in Scotland we've got our tier system and where I live here in the Scottish borders we're in tier number two which means we're not allowed in each other's houses but we can meet people outside. Pubs can be open if they're serving food till six o'clock. Ah, what troubled times we live in and As you see, we're just continuing across this and just wittering for the sake of it. I was at speech therapy this morning and I got told off that the way I speak has changed forever. I've been in that one, so we're going in. So don't lose track of where you are. So we're in there. So we've been in that one, so now we want to go into that one, and come out of that one. Almost there. Oops. Come on, don't be bothersome, we're almost there. This is the easiest bind off methods, there are other ways. Uh, if you go on to YouTube and look up Diana Sullivan, she's an absolute whiz at everything like this and she has several ways of doing this. You can do it with the latch tool as well, the crochet bind off, but I've tried that several times and made a complete mess of it, so I think I'll just stick to this one. Or the chain stitch method for work that doesn't need a flexible edge. So, would have been slightly better off with a smaller tapestry needle, I think.
So now we go into the last one, only just, and out of the next to last one. And we just go through that last one again. And we'll just do it with the latch tool. And now what we do is we bring it forward. Don't don't pull the work forward. We want to get the latches wait so let's keep the latches closed. They should have been taken off before. Fool. Now just lift it straight over and off like that. And there is the completed result. There, that is your bind off. And as you don't see, I didn't. That's the first stitch, and didn't pull it tight enough. But you can lose that sewing together. So there, she's nice and stretchy, and the she's the um, the chain stitch we did earlier. She just just hardly any give in that but that's your bind up and look how much more stretch there is in it so we've just got one more video to make on this size as you'll maybe notice the bond classic plus has morphed back into an incredible sweater machine so i'm saving the best till last the crochet cast on and if i can do it in one go on the video without dropping the loop I'm going to award myself a cake. So we'll do that next. So thank you for watching.